When you have a YouTube channel that deals with personal defense, concealed carry, and being prepared on an everyday basis, you quite often get asked by people, what's in your pockets? Now to those people I usually say, well why don't you reach on in there and find out for yourself, but as I've gotten older, fewer and fewer people actually take me up on that offer. So I thought today, now that summer is over, I would take a moment to show everyone what I've been carrying with me on a daily basis for these last few months. Now, before I get into the stuff that I feel the need to carry with me every day, I'm gonna talk about a couple of items here that people are definitely gonna ask about, and that is my wallet and my cell phone. Well, I am finding that more and more often, I don't need to carry these things. They just aren't as necessary now. Inside my wallet is just loyalty cards and identification. There's no money or anything because I've got, you know, I'm married and I got kids, so don't have any money. Uh, and my cell phone, I pretty much just use it these days for alerts, like from my security cameras, and then to actually view those security cameras. I don't really use it as a communication device anymore. I communicate mostly via text, and for that, I usually just use my watch. So, and I have my loyalty cards on my watch and methods of payment on my watch. So, I don't need either of these things. I'll often find myself just sticking my ID and my carry permit in my pocket and leaving these things at either home or in my vehicle. But I do have a cell phone that I carry with me a lot of the time and it is a Galaxy S8 Plus and I do have a wallet here. It's actually a Boba Fett wallet here, if you can't tell, that my kids bought me for Father's Day last year. So I do have these things, but I think they're starting to become more and more outdated. So I don't know if I would actually consider them part of my essential carry setup. But since I've shown you these now, now we can get on to what I consider the essential stuff. Okay, let's start with the most important item in my carry setup, and that of course is the handgun. And what I've been carrying for the last few months and what I'm really liking is this Smith & Wesson 327 Performance Center. Now, I was real reluctant to try these scandium and titanium guns at first. I thought they would hurt too much. I thought they wouldn't shoot well, but you know what? Everything I thought about them was wrong. They're actually excellent firearms. Now, I wouldn't call them range guns, but as far as self-defense is concerned and concealed carry is concerned, these are the top of the crop. This holds eight rounds of 357 Magnum, has a two inch barrel, weighs next to nothing, is actually pretty comfortable to shoot and super easy to carry. So this is my everyday carry handgun. Now, since I carry the gun, I got to carry it in something. And what I've been carrying it in is this Lobo Leather uh, Enhanced Pancake Holster. This is a very nice holster. It's finished very well, has a smooth finished inside, so it doesn't hold dirt or anything and wear on your gun. Has a hammer shield here. It's just an excellent gun. They do it in a way here that you don't have the big slots on the side and it holds much closer to your body. Just looks better, wears better. This is easily my favorite leather holster I have for my revolvers. I haven't had them very long, but just in the four or five months I've had them, they've easily become my favorite holsters. So if you're someone that carries a revolver and you're asking me, hey, what's a good holster I can get? These Lobo gun leather holsters, that's Lobo, L-O-B, wait, L-O-B-O, -O, yeah, that's right. I sometimes forget how to spell. L-O-B-O -O, gun leather. Just type L-O-B-O -O, gun leather into your uh, browser and it'll pop right up. These are definitely worth the money. They're not really any more expensive than like a Galco or something that's gonna have a rough finished interior and not be as well made. These are better made and they're probably like $20 more. I think I paid for this than I did a comparable Galco holster. So you do have to wait a little bit longer, but buy yourself a cheap holster at first and then wait for this to come because it is definitely worth it. Next here, we have my reloads. Now I do carry reloads, even though I'm not someone who believes in, you gotta have a high capacity gun, but you know, if you can carry reloads and it's no effort, then why not? There's no downside to it. I carry these in a magnetic kind of a holder here that holds moon clips. It's made for competitions, but it works really well for everyday carry. It actually rattles less than these rounds in a speed loader inside of a leather case. You might look at it and think it would rattle a lot, but it doesn't. It's actually excellent for everyday carry. Not the easiest thing to conceal, but if you can conceal a gun, you can conceal this with very little problem. And as far as capacity does go, this holds two eight round speed loaders. And I have eight rounds in my handgun already. So that's 24 rounds of 357 Magnum. With that, I feel like I'm prepared for pretty much anything. 
Next we have my pocket knife. This is the same pocket knife I've carried for a long time. This was a gift from my kids. This is a Spyderco Delica 4 in orange, which is my favorite color. It's not so much a fighting knife, although you could use this as a fighting knife if you had to, but to me it's just an everyday knife. This knife spends way more time opening packages, etc., than it does doing anything uh, tactical or anything like that, or anything particularly manly. But a knife is one of the most important tools you can ever have on you. A knife is something I try to never be without. Next we have my flashlight. This is a Thrunite T10T. I think that stands for titanium. It's an amazing little flashlight. I really like this flashlight. It's very bright. I've used this flashlight quite a bit. Just takes a regular uh, AA battery, which I think is very nice for these types of flashlights. Now I know a lot of people will say, well, you don't need a flashlight anymore because cell phones can be used as flashlights. But when you use your cell phone as a flashlight, you really drain the battery on your cell phone unnecessarily. That battery might be needed sometime later for something more cell phone specific. So I just carry a flashlight, that way I'm not draining the battery on my phone, so I always have a flashlight in my pocket. Next we have my keys. Keys are very self-explanatory. Pretty much everybody has to carry some keys. Some people carry way too many keys in my opinion. I try to just carry as few as possible. I carry my truck key, my house key, a key to the lockbox in my Jeep, and that's all I carry with me. Other keys that I might need, like extra house keys or extra vehicle keys, I keep stored where I might need them in some sort of secured fashion, so that way I don't have to carry any more keys than I absolutely have to. Next, we have a paracord bracelet. Now, I know a lot of people might say paracord bracelets are a fashion trend or a played out fad, but I think they're very useful and I always try to have one with me. I've used mine several times. I have cut up more than I can count of them. Just the other day, I cut one up because I went and picked up a washer and dryer my sister had bought used. The people had nothing to tie it down with, so cut up my paracord bracelet, tied it down, so they're very useful. This one I got from iheartdogs.com. This one, you buy it and the money goes to provide uh, care dogs or service dogs for disabled veterans. So you can also support a good cause by getting one and there's something I think you should always have with you. Next we have Carmex. I always keep Carmex with me winter or summer because it's really good for chapped lips and I get chapped lips a lot. Uh, I often run around looking like, you know, some 1930s silent movie star actress who's painted her lipstick on way too wide. So I always keep this with me. Plus it's great for other things too. Like if you have a dry spot or something on your hands, you can actually use this stuff for that also. So Carmex has a lot of uses and it, like I say, takes care of those nasty red chapped lips. So I always try to have Carmex with me. Next, we have matches. These are pretty self-explanatory. Now, I don't usually carry matches because I might have to start a fire. I've never actually been anywhere I had to start a fire, plus I got fire starting uh, equipment in my vehicle. But I have been in situations where I might want to light a match after certain activities, especially if you're at a friend's house. So it's been nice to have these with me. I try to always have matches. Next year, we just have some little Listerine breath strips. I don't think I got to tell you why I got these. Uh, I am notorious for having bad breath. I'm old, so I think all my bodily fluids have been pretty much used up now. So I have dry mouth quite a bit. So these right here are something I definitely need. And next here we have my watch. I don't know if I consider a watch part of your EDC, but everybody else does. So I'll show it. This is just a basic uh, Galaxy Gear S3 from Samsung. It's a very nice little watch. It also acts as a standalone cell phone if you don't have your cell phone with you or your cell phone goes dead. So this little watch has been a godsend to me. Many a times I've been at the store and forgot my wallet and even forgotten my cell phone. And this allows me to make phone calls and pay because it does have Samsung Pay on it. So you can use it as a credit card, debit card, and you can keep in contact with family with it. Okay, the final thing here to show you is, of course, my belt. And I'm showing you this last so that my pants don't fall down throughout the whole video. This is a core essential belt. I love this belt. It's one of their track line belts. I've been wearing one of their leather belts for a long time, and I really love them. The best belts I've ever worn. But they were a little dressy. Now they make this web style belt. I like this even better than I do the leather ones. I still have the leather ones for when I want to look a little nicer. But this, for everyday use, is really nice. This is probably my favorite belt I've ever owned. So there you have it. That's pretty much what I carry with me every day. It's what I've been carrying with me every day for the last few months for summer. Now, I will admit this is not quite as involved as what a lot of guys carry. It's not all that tactical. It's actually, I would say, more practical. But one thing I'll say about this little group of stuff is I've been carrying it for a long time, very similar setups, and it's never let me down yet.